It's a very joyful thing. What is the name of this Thakur Ji here? Kishor Kishori. Kishor Kishori. We are sitting under the shelter of lotus feet of Kishore and Kishori and we are sitting under the lotus feet of our Guru. We all are sitting here. We must have had a lot of Sukritis, pious deeds and good deeds. And a lot of uh, all the people are not lucky enough to get Sadhu Sang. You are easily you can get bad this association anyhow. It's very easy. In marriage, people get together and there's a marriage happening nearby, right? Like someone is getting married in the nearby and it's very nice. But see, so, the association of the body of the Lord, Sadhu Sang, Sharva Shastrika. All scriptures say, in scriptures it is said, Sadhu Sang, for even one second, if you are in the association of a Sadhu, how much time? One second. Then their life is successful. Tulsi Das Ji is saying, Okay. So when we are desiring to meet the pure devotee of the Lord or saint, we put one feet in front and it's like we get the fruits of thousands and thousands of fire sacrifices. We get fruits of that. So one day in Astinapur, Yudhishthir Maharaj said, Hey Prabhu, I want to do a fire sacrifice, Radhsu Yagya. Radhsu Yagya. It's like a fire sacrifice where a lot of kings, all the kings of locality will come. They will respect the citizens and they will do fire sacrifice. So it's an event. And pure devotion of the Lord Son will also come and chant the holy names. Now we will also prepare prasadam. Bukena bhajan. You cannot be, do bhajan when you are hungry. If you are hungry. They said Yudhishthi. So your five brothers four, can call hun, hundred children of Kanbari. So 105, it's 105. Like there's everyone fight happening in every household. But if there's a marriage, what should everyone do? Everyone should go together. Because then, because then there will be thorns on your way. It will be hard to walk. It will be hard to walk for everyone. So we have to go together. So that's why God is telling to Yudhishthir Maharaj. So 
Let's organize a fire fire sacrifice all together. So Yudhishthir Maharaj agreed to the Lord's desire and he invited Duryodhana and his 99 brothers. And in that fire sacrifice, everyone was assigned responsibilities, assigned duties. I was like, oh, you will do this, you will manage this, you will manage that. What is the biggest responsibility? What is the biggest work in fire sacrifice? It was like checking the kitchen. So people will come, they will eat, and they will say, oh, the food was nice. But if salt is less, when they will go, they will criticize. They will make some comments. They don't say anything. So, whatever the most important thing is preparation of the food. Everyone gets happy with eating nice food. Who was the expert who was preparing the kitchen? Draupadi. She was an incarnation of Lakshmi Devi. She manifested, appeared from fire. Who was Draupadi? She was Drupadi. She was a Chaya Shadow Shadow Sita. Chaya Sita. There is a very big story about that. When the time is right, I will tell you. One day, this Chaya Sita. So Ravan kidnapped which Sita? Shadow Sita. He did not kidnap real Sita. So Ravan died. When Ravan died. The original Sita Devi, the Chaya Sita, the Shadow Sita, she entered the fire and Ramchandra took the original Sita and he came back. So at that time, Chaya Sita is saying for the Lord, I assisted you a lot, especially I was the reason you destroyed this whole demonic, demonic dynasty. If Ravan hadn't taken me, then how would you kill Ravan and lots of other demons? So, I did everything. Why are you abandoning me? Give me a boon. So that time Lord Ramchandra said, He said, Chaya Sita, Chaya of Sita. Like for some time, you can stay Swarg Lakshmi for some time. So Chaya Sita, she stayed in the heaven. She was Swarg Lakshmi, Lakshmi of heaven. And then she got cursed from Durvasa Rishi and then she came back to the material world. So everything is explained in Quran and scriptures. After that, Lord Ramchandra said, When I will take birth in Krishna, then you can assist me in my Leela. So that's how Sita, she, she became Swarga Lakshmi and then she became Draupadi, who became the reason to destroy the Kaurav Vansh, Kuru Vansh, like the people of Hastin dynasty of Kauravas. If Draupadi wasn't there, then how would have the Kauravas died? So, so Draupadi, in, in the kitchen, she was a very nice cook. And at the same time, Bhim, they, the person who likes to eat, they cook, they cook nice. So people who don't like to eat, don't, don't have food, they don't cook well. Bhim likes to eat and he likes to cook. He used to cook very, very nice. So the Lord said, who should manage the kitchen? Draupadi and Bhim. And they managed Arjun to, to greet the kings who are coming and offer them seeds and welcome everyone who's coming. And Nakul and Sade, they, they prepare and welcome the pure devotees of the Lasantha Mahatmas. They will come in fire sacrifice, you manage everything that, around that. This was given to Nakul and Sahadev. And Yudhishthir Maharaj, 
He will manage everything on the top. He will check everything if everything is living well or not. So who will do make donations? Sridhar Maharaj said. Duryodhan Dushwasan. Let's assign them the duty to make donations. So Duryodhan Dushwasan. They started to throw the donations away because. Because they thought that they will make the empty. If there is no wealth, then what's the use of a king? Duryodhan and Dushasan started to think that we have access to the vault of Yudhishthira Maharaj and we will donate everything. We will donate everything and make it empty. So they had access to all the wealth. They didn't know that where Krishna is manifesting, where Lakshmi is opening, that the four incarnation of Lakshmi Draupadi is there. How can you empty that place of wealth? You can make loads of donations. They say, Maharaj, give me one cloth. I give them ten clothes. Some say, one rupee, Duryodhan. He's talking to Duryodhan. So Duryodhan gave, <coughs> someone was asking for 100 rupees, Duryodhan gave 1000 rupees. Yudhishthira was only desiring to make the vault of Yudhishthira Maharaj empty. Because he was giving donation, so from morning to evening he was making big, big donations. And it was as it is, nothing got removed from the vault. He had the same amount of wealth, everything was there. And fire sacrifices also going on. And everyone was going, they saw, wow, very big, big donations, very nice food. Like food like Amrit, very delicious food. We have never seen so many big donations. All the people were over satisfied. So one work was left in that fire sacrifice. All the Santa Mahatma who will wash the feet of the Santa Mahatma. Lord Krishna said, I will wash. My Krishna, he washed the Lord's feet of Sudhama or not. See, the biggest people, they take the smallest work. And the big people, they take small work. And small people want big work. So Krishna took the responsibility to wash the lotus feet of all the glory bodies of the Lord. Santamatma. So fire sacrifice is going on and Yudhishthira Maharaj asked the question to Krishna. You tell me one thing. How do we know that this fire sacrifice is finished? At that time, Lord said, when this there's a big, big victory bell, bell of victory, it will start to ring. It will make huge sound. If your fire sacrifice is done, then the bell of victory will ring automatically. So Yudhishthira Maharaj saw that. He saw they are saying Jai Jai. Yudhishthira Maharaj ki Jai. So Yudhishthira Maharaj, he was putting his hand, hand on his hand, hand on his head. And it was about to evening about to come and it's 3 to 4 o'clock and so around so fire sacrifice needs to happen in the daytime it's known as Satvik Yagya and if uh, fire sacrifices take happening at night then it's known as Tamsik it's not Tamsik it's not good so Yudhishthir Maharaj he was worried, he was putting his hand, hand on his head and he was saying, Lord, Krishna, why is this belly then ringing? So Krishna said, see, Sant Mahatma, one of Sant Mahatma has not come yet. He said, all the Sant Mahatma have come, everyone has taken prasad. And Krishna said, no, and one Sant Mahatma is still left, he has not arrived here. He said, who? So the beam, the, uh, the beam with his weapon, he was going around wandering, he was looking to every street, he was looking corners of every street and searching for that Santa Mahatma. In the corner of a street, he saw a Santa Mahatma sitting there and he was chanting the names of Ram, 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 Ram. Ram. And his body, he was itching, his full body was itching, Ram, 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 Ram. 
So Bhim said, Santa Mahatma, can you please come to our fire sacrifice? He said, no one informed me that there's a fire sacrifice going on. He said, this Santa Mahatma didn't know anything about fire sacrifice. So Bhim said, please come with me and take part in our fire sacrifice. Take prasad and come, we will greet you. Santa Mahatma said, I am not a usual saint. I am not coming if you are inviting me. Are you calling me right now? I will not come right away. He said, Maharaj, come please. He said, I will come. How much donation will you give me? He said, whatever you want, we will give you. The Ryodhan Dushasan, they are in charge of, they have access to the full vault of our kingdom. The Santa Mahatma said, there's the Raj Siyogi in the fire sacrifice, 10,000. He wants the fruit of 10,000 Ashwamedya. I don't want money, I don't want wealth. I want the fruits of 10,000 Ashwamed Yagya, which is like the topmost and hardest type of fire sacrifice. Ashwamed Yagya. He don't want money. He want 10,000 Ashwamed fire sacrifice fruits. So one Ashwamed fire sacrifice, what is the fruit? And he wants, so when, so 10,000 Raj Yagya is equal to one Ashwamedhi again, he's asking for 10,000. So this is like almost 30 million. He said, I want the fruits of 10,000 Ashwamedhi again. This is the hardest fire sacrifice. <coughs> So he didn't, he didn't take part in the fire sacrifice. And where are you going? Sit everyone and listen. Take prasad. <laughs> you won't get the fruits of Ashwamedhi Yagya. You won't get the fruits of Ashwamedhi fire sacrifice. So listen, they informed Krishna about this. Krishna said, Bhim, you won't be able to work. Send Draupadi. The Draupadi said to Santa Mahatma, she's invited him. He said, Bhim just invited me. I told him what I want. I wanted the fruits of 10,000. Ashwamedhya Gya, the fire sacrifice which is done with the horse. He wanted the fruits of 10,000, 10,000 fruits. And he said, I don't need to study. Draupadi said, I, are you need to study? Are you educated? So Draupadi said, just listen to one thing. So Draupadi said, she said, so when you're going to meet a son, you're going to meet a pure devotee of the Lord, she said, I am the queen of this kingdom and I came to meet you here. How have I come? I came by walking. I walked till here. And to, before I told you, so it's equal to like billions of fire sacrifice. If with one step, if you're taking towards in the direction to meet the spirituality of the Lord, so you can count. And Sant Mahatma, he, she, cooked, she cooked for him and she offered food to Thakurji. And when she offered food to Thakurji, she offered the food to Sant Mahatma. Draupadi cooked herself, laddu kachori. Very delicious preparation she did for Sant Mahatma. So he sat down to take the food and Sant Mahatma. And Yudhishthir Maharaj is looking at the victory bell. He said, This Santa Mahatma will eat prasad and then the victory bell will ring. But victory bell didn't ring. 
Yudhishthira Maharaj said to the God, he said, one Sandamatma was left. Why didn't this victory bell ring? Why is it not drinking? Why is it not working? So, Lord said, so when he was eating, did you have any doubts or did anything come in your heart when he was eating? Yudhishthira Maharaj said, yes. What? The Sint Mahatma, when he was eating, he got two kachori. He mixed all the dishes together that he would prepare and he was eating everything mixed. He mixed the sweet and spicy things all together. So I was thinking that this Sant Mahatma is not a good quality Sant Mahatma. He is not like, this is like a normal saint. This is not a good saint. See, he should see how his laddu, how his kachori, he should taste separately. But he mixed everything and eat. He mixed everything and he ate. So in my heart I felt this is not a good saint. Not a good saint coming from a good family. Khanda, not coming from a good family. So he said you have committed a sin in the lotus feet of Santa Mahatma. The people who worship Hari, they are owned by Hari. People who do Hari Bhajan, they are pure. They are of Hari. He is of no caste, no family. He is of no caste, no race. This is just ego. The person who is uh, doing Hari Bhajan, he is owned by Hari. You cannot attain Lord by money. You cannot get the Lord by astrology, knowledge, nothing. Lord said, you have committed offense into the lotus feet of Santa Mahatma. What to do now? He said, cook again. And then Draupadi, she cooked everything again. Or Santa Mahatma. And Santa Mahatma took that. And when Santa Mahatma ate, and the victory bell started to ring itself. At that time, Yudhishthira Maharaj asked one question. You tell me, all this laddu, kachori, all the dishes, why did you mix everything together? So Santa Mahatma said, he said, Draupadi is a form of Lakshmi. She cooked for Thakurji, she offered to Thakurji. I showed the love is every, in every particle of this food. It's not laddu, it's not kachori. It's not a separate dish, it's just a piece of love. Prasad, prasad ki, every particle of that, every grain of that food is Mahaprasad. Who says this? Who remembers this slogan? Remember this. So, Mahaprasad, so whatever you offer to Thakurji, it is transcendental. It is Mahaprasad. So, when we read mantras and we offer the food to Thakurji, it is Mahaprasad. It is remnants of the Lord. Do you know the remnants of those who don't have Sukriti, spice activities, you haven't matured. So they, they don't trust the Mahaprasad. They don't think it's transcendental. They don't even believe that Govinda exists. They are seeing this Vigra, this deity, these very beautiful deities. Radha Govind, Kishore Kishori. Very beautiful name it is. This is a manifestation of Lord Himself. This is the form of Lord. This is not normal stone. What is this? This is manifestation of Trinity Radhika and Sri Krishna. You, they will talk to you. If you have bhakti in your heart, then they will speak to you. They will ask you, give me more food. <laughs> Like Nagnath Das Goswami, Ji, 
राधा विनोदी लाल महाप्रसादे गोविंदे नाम हरिनाम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नाम सर नाम संकीर्तन इज नॉट स्पिरिचुअल साउंड वट इज अवैश्व who have taken diksha with vishnu mantra they are vaishnav krito krito vishnu krito vishnu puja varun jo vishnu mantra ke dar dikhe hote taken diksha with vishnu mantra and they worship vishnu that person is known as a vaishnav jo surya ki puja karte hain those who are worshiping sun they are surya so they are called surya and those who worship lord shiva they are known as shaivas jo shakti devi durga and who are worshiping shakti durga devi they are known as sakt the shakti they are worshiping jo ganesh puja karte hain those who are worshiping ganesh they are known as ganapatya aur jo vishnu ki puja karte hain and those who worship vishnu they are known as vaishnav फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड दिंग दैट आई एम फाइन टू एक्सप्लेन सो द लॉर्ड इज सेंग रजिस्टर सेड सब कुछ मिला मैं देखा तो इसमें देखो स्वयं ही मिक्सड एवरीथिंग द द्रौपदी शी कुड वेरी डिलीशियस फूड she offered to thakur ji and ab ye mahaprasad this is mahaprasad main dekh raha hu isme sab mein kya hai madam saying i am seeing in every particle of this food there's love prem sarvatra hai main dekh raha hu aha love is everywhere i was thinking what to eat first everywhere is love isme main dekh raha hu i got confused everything is full with love isme mahaprasad so mahaprasad we should not think take material perspective on it this is transcendental mahaprasad is transcendental we should take it so chawal don't think it's rice it's dal think mahaprasad in day that's why we say it with this, this mindset in a person who doesn't trust the mahaprasad is thinking this is rice this is dal they can eat it for thousand lifetimes they won't get any fruit this is the thakur ji's mahaprasad see for this nara drishi shiv brahma they are dancing i will speak a little short story and then we'll stop one day nara drishi one time nara drishi ब्राह्मण करते करते बैकुंठ में आ गए ही वेंट टू ब्राह्मण वंडरिंग ही वेंट टू बैकुंठ एंड एट दैट टाइम ठाकुर जी टुक फूड एंड ही वेंट टू शो एंड लक्ष्मी देवी ठाकुर जी के प्रसाद की थाली लेकर के बाहर ही ब्रोंग द प्लेट ऑफ ठाकुर जी एंड देवी ही सेड देवी मुझे ठाकुर जी के थोड़ा प्रसाद दीजिए ही सेड प्लीज गिव मी सम रेमिनेंट्स ऑफ कृष्ण उस समय रेमिनेंट्स ऑफ द गॉड एंड एट दैट टाइम लक्ष्मी देवी he gave remnants of the food to nadrishi nadrishi took that and uh, so when he ate that nadrishi he felt so much love he started to dance he felt so much love in his heart mero radha raman girindhari girindhari sam banvari mero radha raman
So Narada Muni, he started to chant the names of Radha. What is the best name to chant, Radha? What is the best name? So, have you read the names of Vishnu Shastranam? So, we take 1,000 names of Vishnu, that is equal to one name of Ram. And if you take the chant the name of Ram three times, that is equal to one name of Krishna. And if you chant those 100 names of Krishna, that is equal to one name of Radharani. Radharani ki jai. So, what is the topmost Naam? This is the Radha Naam. This is the glories of Radha Naam. So, Narada Rishi, with this musical instrument, Veena, he is saying Radhe Radhe. So, he started to walk, dancing. He went to Kailash. He went to Kailash near Shivji. And he started to dance. He took Mahaprasad, he started to dance, and Shivji said, Where are you coming from? Nadri said, I'm coming from Vaikuntha. Why are you dancing in bliss? So Lakshmiji gave me remnants of Narayan. He gave me Mahaprasad, and I took that. So Shivji said, Give me a little bit, please. He said, I finished everything already. You should never leave Prasad. You should lick everything and finish everything. The plate should be clean. You should lick it's Mahaprasad. It is remnants of the God. You should lick and you should clean the plate. So he asked, is there anything left in your nail? So they saw one grain left in your nail. So Naradri said, take it. So Shivji, he ate that grain of rice. It was just a tiny particle that was stuck in his nail. It was stuck in the nail of Naradri. And Shivji took that and Shivji also started to dance in ecstasy.
मेरो शाम देखो सामने मेरो शाम देखो